They like, why the clap sound like that? <laughs> So my 2019 Camaro manual transmission, there was an issue with it where it would there would be a, an alert that popped up that said reduce clutch use, reduce power. And when this code popped up, it cut half the power in the car. It would cause the car to shake and then it would say that my clutch was slipping. So I figured out that it was not my clutch that was slipping. It was a flange in the drive shaft that was loose. I took my car to Wind Gap Chevrolet right there and they bought the parts for me they fixed it and in about three weeks i got all this done so i bought the parts like two weeks ago on friday everything came in yesterday and i got the car done today it took three hours the the kit it's called a flange kit you get a new flange you get a new nut and you get a new seal that kit cost $180. I just paid $741 for three hours of labor. It was like three to three and a half hours of labor. So if you have this issue with your car, then you're going to pay about like 900, but 180 plus 740. Yeah, about $920. So $920 to fix your manual trans if it does happen to go out. This issue is most likely not going to happen to a stock car. The issues that I've seen on YouTube videos is that this happens to cars that are tuned, that are pushing more torque than the than a stock car would. Because this car is tuned, it makes about 370 wheel torque. The stock components are not compatible with the power the car is pushing anymore. So it caused some stock parts to fail. Just be mindful of that when you're modifying your Camaro, either a sixth gen or even a fifth gen, that stock components are going to fail and you will have to replace them eventually. That's what happened to me. And now I finally get to enjoy my car. So this is gonna be the first drive uh, since I got this whole flange thing fixed. So the issue was in fifth and sixth gear, that alert would come on. So I'm gonna drive the car right now and hopefully it doesn't come on. Finally be able to drive like regularly. Uh, <laughs> it's like, it's such a small thing, but it, it, it makes like, it makes me so happy that I can finally fucking drive this car now. So, all right. Hold on boys, I gotta turn this down. All right, so right now we're in fourth gear. I'm going in the fifth. Okay, I'm going 65. So usually the issue was whenever I would drive and I'd use like even a quarter bit of throttle, that alert would come on. So we're gonna, we're gonna get up there a little bit. 75, 80, 81, 82. There's no alert. <laughs> so that's fifth gear. Fifth gear is fine, right? So now let me just pop it in the six. God, like this, it feels like, honestly, the car feels smoother now. Like it feels so good. It feels like a new car, bro. Oh my God. Like even like before I got this fixed, even when I was going 70, the car would just shake and it would feel so uncomfortable to drive. But, oh man, this feels great. This feels so great. Um, I'm so happy. <laughs> like. I'm so happy I could drive this car now. And there's no check engine light anymore. Ah, oh, like, like, bruh, I just feel so good. Oh my God, dude. But I was hella sleepy. But now that I like, oh my God. Like even the, the dude, the service guy that was helping me out, he was like, bro, the smile on your face right now. Like, I can't wait for you to drive your car. Like, bruh, me neither. Like, it feels so good now. Oh man. Oh man, <laughs> I'm so happy, bro. Yo, since when do Mustangs have Euro tails from the factory? That's freaking dope. I just passed by this uh, this truck with all these Mustangs on it, and they're all GTs. That's crazy. 
<laughs> yeah, see you later.